But you came back because of one guy, I assume, and that's the coach, right? Yeah. Walk, um, walk yeah. people through what he meant to you when you were on the Knicks, and obviously he was an assistant with the Knicks. There's a lot of guys that speak about Kenny the way you do, that he made you, you know, obviously God-given talent, but if he's not in your life as a coach, you've said that you probably don't make it as far as you made it. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, that was a really crucial and fragile time for me because, um, I had just gotten cut twice and I was really lacking that confidence and unsure of what I could do. And the one thing that Kenny always did was he made sure that I would work and I would work, you know, I would work extra hard. We'd be the first ones there in the morning. We'd be the first ones there in the morning. And then, um, we would just, uh, we would just do a, a ton of work. And so I guess the thing I really loved was his passion for the game. And that's kind of why I always believed in him as a head coach. So when he actually got the job, it wasn't even so much like, yeah, we were friends and we were close and he was always watching my game still and texting me even when we weren't on the same teams. But it was, it was that I knew how much he cared about it and how much, how passionate he was about the game that made me really think, Hey, this, you know, we have a chance to turn this thing around because he's in charge. No, interesting. Uh, as we talk to the Jeremy Lynn, uh, Brooklyn Nets point guard for sure. Um, you know, a lot of stories came out that when Sean Marks came here, the, the GM, he noticed that there were a lot of players that were lazy, players that were late to meetings, players that didn't, uh, you know, hold the, the team accountable. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to name names because they're not on the team any longer. Uh, can you can you tell us how different it is now with Sean and, and with uh, Kenny and everybody else and, and how this thing is being run over there? Yeah, this is, uh, this is the most detailed and structured plan I've ever seen and I've been a part of six organizations in seven years and um, this one in terms of the level of structure the level of detail and all that is next level um, I'm, the way the, how much they care for their players how much they do for their players all of that is just um, I've never seen anything like it so um, there's definitely you know once you get in this in this system you're kind of like uh, it's, it's hard to be late. It's hard to, you know, be lazy it, it, because everything is, is built in for you. You see everyone else doing it that way. You see all the staff, all the, the trainers, everybody, they're working hard too. And so there's definitely that, that energy or that vibe that you kind of like feed off of each other.